Hi, this is Andrea for Beataholic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Gilder's Paste as a paint by staining it out with turpenoid. Now, you can use turpentine or mineral spirits. I like turpenoid because it's odorless, uh, but a, a little note here, you're not supposed to use the turpenoid natural. So I just got a little bottle of the plain odorless turpenoid. I've got a little porcelain dish here to use as a palette. I have my Gilder's paste. I have it in all different colors. I have some very cheap paint brushes. I mean, these are, you can buy tons of these and just throw them away when you're done as opposed to going through the arduous process of cleaning out brushes and risking ruining some nicer brushes. So I just have a bunch of these on hand. I have a protective surface that I'm working on because I don't want to damage my tabletop. And I have some paper towel. And finally, I have some filigree and some other stampings that I'm going to be painting on. Now here are some examples of the painting method of uh, using Gilder's paste. And what I really love this for is for the the amount of pigment you can get onto a surface and it's really good for filigree because you can't if you apply it with your finger it's obviously a thicker form and it's hard to get it out of all of those little nooks and crannies it kind of cakes up so with the brush you can kind of just paint it on and it won't get gunked up also what I love painting using the painting method for is mixing colors for instance, on this piece, I mixed probably three colors, and I will explore that, and it gives this beautiful kind of, uh, well, it looks like the sea to me. It's a really nice patina. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start with this vintage brass piece, and it's very similar to this one, as you can see. Although this one started out as art metal, which is black, not this nice uh, brown tone. And all I used for this was the silver color. I painted it on and then I rubbed it off. So for this brass piece, let's see. I'm going to try this violet. So I'm going to open my Gilder's paste. I'm going to scoop out just a little bit. I'll put it right in one of these little compartments. Close it up so it doesn't dry out. I'm going to wipe off the end of my brush here. I'm going to pour out a little bit of the turpenoid in the center dish. A little goes a long way. So I'm going to take my paintbrush, I'm going to dip it in the turpenoid, and I'm going to start thinning out my Gilder's paste. And you can get it as thin or as thick as you'd like. I'm going to use it almost like a watercolor. I'm going to get it really nice and thin. I'm just going to begin painting on my color. Now, as you can see, this isn't a very dramatic effect. So if, if I'm so inclined to do, I can go back and get a little bit thicker. You're just using this just how you would a paint. I'm going to go on a little thicker here because I like this. The great thing about this is that you can paint it on and leave it a thick, nice coating. Or you can paint it on and then buff off just the top layer so your higher points will show through and the color will be stuck in all of the recesses. Go ahead and coat this whole thing. Now, I'm going to take a piece of paper towel. I'm just going to start swiping at it. You can kind of play with it and see how much you want to remove. You might want to remove a whole lot of it or just a little bit. As you can see, this is just 
it already looks really interesting. You can remove some with your fingers if you want. I'm always inclined to use my fingers for things, so. So that's that, and also, you don't have to just use one color. Like I said, with this, I used, I think, three colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did that. I have an African bronze, which is a gorgeous green metallic color. I'm gonna switch brushes here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that in a separate shallow here. And then the patina color, I love this beautiful turquoise color. I'm gonna scoop out some of that as well. I'm gonna put it in the same dish. Maybe a little more of the patina. I'm gonna go back into my turpenoid, and it's okay, I, I get a little bit of the purple in there, I don't care, I'm experimenting right now. I'm going to try to mix these two together. I'm already really loving this color. Don't forget to replace your caps so your paints don't dry out. So I've got a really great color going and I'm going to go ahead and start painting it on to my antiqued brass here. There you go, and I think for this color, I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then dab at it. Um, I can try to take off some of the surface color right now, but I don't wanna go too far because I really like this color. So for the to get the same effect as this, I think I little, went a little bit heavier with the patina color. And then at the very end, I let it dry, and then I took a antique, gold color and then I went ahead and did the dry just dipping my finger in it and I just touched lightly on the um, higher points to give it a really pretty metallic sheen. Once your piece is dry just like uh, rubbing it on with your fingers you want to go ahead and give it a coat of a clear acrylic sealer and in a couple days your piece will be ready to wear. Have fun with this.